Welcome to another episode of the Subnautica series and instead of getting this all built up I figured we would go ahead and check out that wreck that we found in the last episode. Please let me up. So we're gonna head out in the sky and head out that direction. <laughs> going to the Grand Reef wreck. Hey there reefies. They chill so close it's crazy. You can hear those guys in the base occasionally, the um, stalkers. It sounds really weird in the base. It has an interesting tone to it. Get out of here. It's really close. It doesn't feel like it when you find it. But it didn't take us long to get here, did it? I guess we have a little bit to go though. Ooh, I might collect um, ah, a repair. <laughs> I might collect some sandstone outcrops while I'm out, if I see them, just because I have such trouble seeing them. Did not need that. Very much needed that. Yes! I'm super excited about that. We still need that le le lead. That lead for the uh, platforms that our base is on. Hey, okay. little fishies, they're swimming with us. Alright, so... You know, I wonder if I should have brought the prawn. No, it doesn't look like it's too deep for the sea maw. Do we have the- th yeah. No, that's what we're using. Derp. Do we have the thermal plant? I haven't already built one or anything. It takes- I built up the water filtration station for myself because I was dying. Yes. And it takes so much power. It's crazy. Even with the thermal energy that we have, it takes about a hundred of what we produce. And so we get kind of low sometimes. Alright, so I don't know what that is, but let's grab this guy first. Cyclops Death Module. MK Wound. Alright, nice. Wound pool fragment. We don't need you. We don't need the thermal plant. What else do we need? Do we have this bench? Yes, we have the bench. We have scanned the bench. Or it doesn't need skin. Either way, I don't need to do it now. God, I'm so mad at how many things are here for things that I, I needed early on. Ooh, chill sec. Let's grab that guy. I don't know how much. Hello? Oh, sneaky. Look at that. We have the drill arm though, don't we? We'll find out. Nope. We do now, do. <laughs> yes, please. Should I be concerned about my oxygen? Eh, not that bad. We'll start heading back though. Hey, butter! Probably could turn off the home um, marker because we're gonna have a vehicle back at the the base at all times so that could be our home marker. I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I how I feel about it. It is nice that it's just literally labeled home. Look at that guy. We'll have to come down here with our drill arm. What does this outcrop give again? Shale? Gold. Ah. You would really not think that gold was a special thing in this game. Alright, so we've kind of scouted the surrounding area. Let's find our way in. If I remember correctly, it's kind of like over here somewhere? Ish? Or this is where I parked the um, uh, prawn suit the last time I came here. Alright, and we're back. I may or may not have had to run back to the base because I forgot the path maker. And it's crucial. All right, let's stick that guy right. Bloop, right there. Ooh, I like that it lights it up. It's so nice. All right, so my God, this is gonna be confusing. Do we need any of these things? Yes, we do. I need this so badly. Please give me the grappling hook. All right, one of two. We're almost there. Good. All right. I don't like that. That's so far away from oxygen through that tunnel. I think I'd rather... no signal. Can I bring the sea moss down here? I'm gonna stick this guy blip, so I can find it here in a second. With 
to see Moss because I don't want to have to travel that tunneling to get there. Just because it, they're really hard to navigate. So if we can go just straight out, that would be much nicer. So let's head down here. Like so. There we go. And we can use the slide up what we're looking at for a little bit there. Let's go ahead and clear those nodes. I don't need that one at the, the tube. Right, so... I don't see anything in this room worthy of note. Going to the next one. I know there's a door that needs lasered. This is where we just... Um, that's where that tunnel is right there. So I'm gonna just get through this door. And we did it! Alright, let's head in here. Get a little path maker. Blip. I just like it because it's lighting. Again? Alright, fine. What do we got in here? Nutrient block. Let's go ahead and eat that because I am getting kind of low. Perfect. So we can't go out that door. That's fine. There is a path this way. Stick this guy here. Ooh, I see something I super want. Hey there. Lovely grappling arm. And we also have this guy, which is Cyclops Dock Bay Repair Module. So when we dock whatever, whether it's uh, the sea moth or the um, prawn suit in the Cyclops, it'll repair it for us. I don't see anything of note in here. I don't think there'll be anything that direction. So let's head out. Maybe go get ourselves some air. Oh no. I messed up our little marker. Still very helpful though. <laughs> I might have to replace them. Yay! Oxygen. You are amazing. Alright, let's try this again. Ooh. Sometimes the collision of things is a little weird. So we go bloop. Oh no. First clear. There them. Thank you. And let's try putting it not in the doorway. Alright, let's go through here. And I will be going through this guy right here. And we're through! Wow, that goes really far. Alright. Let's get this guy path maker. Go right here. Derp. There we go. Uh, nothing in that guy. We do have another one of these repulsion cannons. So the opposite of what we currently have. <laughs> yes! Another one of these. Thanks for the titanium. I have a lot of base to build. Alright, so... Got that guy. I don't see anything else in this room. I don't think we can open these doors when they have these bars in front of them. Alright, so we got that guy. We've gone into here. Yes, this is the way out. Let's get some more air and then I will double check to see if I forgot anything. Alright, it does look like I may have missed something, so let's go ahead and check it out. So we head up into here, get stuck on the doors. There we go. So we go through here, and then I think you go through this door, and then this door, and then there's this right here. Uh, God, I wish there was a way to just make it so I never get that little map. So we haven't gone through this little thing right here. That's a dead end. Head up this way and around. And we're in this room here. So we have another drill arm. Let's get that scanned up for that titanium. And is that a drill arm? Yep. And we have a PDA. Nice. Let's see, is there anything in these boxes? Any other entrances and exits? I don't think this is a door that would open. Yep, there we go. Thought it came out and double checked. Ooh, okay. So that's uh, another entrance. So there's one on the top, one on the bottom, and one to the side right here. Very nice. We do need to find our source of oxygen though. It's down around here. Now I think that is the end of everything that was in there. I didn't notice anything else in my quick look. If there's anything super important in there, let me know and I will come back to it, but I think I pretty much got that all figured out. So that's right there is where that top entrance is I decided against using. It's really weird seeing those little 
floating ball things above me because I'm so used to seeing them like I associate them with being really far down so to have them above us is really weird. Are these scannable or they are? These are anchor pods. Let's get this good scan. It'd be really cool if we could take one of these and put them in our uh, aquarium. Oh, is that a uh, thermal stuff? I think. So if you wanted to uh, build your base down here, these would be a great source of energy for you. As you can see down in the corner, it's this is up to 60 C. So you could use the thermal plants down on these and build your base up here. Probably not down that direction. Probably want it, you know, up in this area where it's a little more flat and you have a little more space. It'd be really cool to look out at these every time you looked out the window. Ooh, Ruby. Might as well grab that, right? We don't have a whole lot of that. Here we go. No, oh, oh, give it. Yes, Ruby. Just because we may need to make more of that mm, arrow shell, I believe it's called. Ooh, gross. Look at that guy. Well, rest in peace, little dude. Sorry you got sick. You ate the wrong peeper or something. Actually, I don't think the peepers can be sick. I don't think I've ever seen a sick peeper. Which is kind of cool. Oh, don't run in, in anything. Hello? Oh, hi. Can't wait till we get the defense for this guy. The sea moth. I love that little protective shield you send out. Ooh, super satisfying. Luckily, I think it was probably after the sea moth and not me. Yes! Alright, let's go head home. Just, you know, right there. <laughs> Hi, little base. How you doing? We have one more platform to get lead for. Not sure what I'm going to use all of these rooms for. <laughs> don't hit the... Ugh. Welcome aboard, you good? You don't have any, uh... Thing I need to repair, You're not filling with water. We're good. I also hit it on my way out, so that's why I was kind of concerned that we would actually be full of water. So I think I'm gonna do the pattern that I normally do when it comes to storage, which is uh, one of these and then one of the wall ones to the side, like so. Something like this. That's what I like to do. Uh, I won't do this on camera because I will be super picky about my final, you know? Not bad. <laughs> but I'm super picky about making sure everything lines up the same, like this one's over further and that'll drive me nuts. So I'm not going to put you guys through that. I do need to figure out where I want windows and that kind of stuff. Mm, I probably shouldn't put it here because the base might expend extend that direction. So I might cover those walls in this one or maybe like the four corners. I don't know, man. I don't have any plans for this base. I don't know how to do when I don't have plans. Do we have glass? I want a window. Oh lord. How hard is it going to be to find glass in here? <laughs> it's so unorganized. There's one. Two, three. At least we can make one window. Get out of here, Mr. Fish. Does this look like a ocean to you? I don't think so. Well, there have been better views. <laughs> Can you have storage lockers on windows? I don't know. Let's get out of my base! I wonder if there's a way to remove those. Because that's going to be a bit of a problem. This is a much nicer view. Hello? There's a little reefy. I don't know how well you can see him. He's right there. Can you imagine if there was no bioluminescence in this game? It'd go from being a really pretty game that's sometimes scary to being a horror game every night. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see anything. You would only be able to hear stuff and then see what you, you know, what you provide for yourself with like a flashlight or something. And oh, water. Yes, please, give it to me. 
This one gives us 50 opposed to the others, which give us 20 and 30. Like this one. The the two 30s you get from the bleach. <laughs> Guess we could drink that and then do that. And yes, we're full. We're all full of water. Everything's perfect. So yeah, this is where I decided to put the water tank. I think if we do, I considered going out another uh, uh, multi-purpose room that direction and maybe having the bedroom and this like the kitchen area where you get food and water and stuff, which would be right in the entrance. I don't know yet. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> I might do a montage of that at some point. We'll have to see. But for now, I think that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.